hello welcome back to the channel and yeah um thank you for uh clicking on this video thank you for checking on my video and today we'll be doing a video on how to feed refoids in a reef tank but before we get into it this is i like feeding refoids this is how i do it there's many other ways some people use this for tools this is just how i do it and maybe this is how you want to do it too it's a cheaper laying around the house to quite stuff so yeah Let's get into the video. So guys, we are back at my lagoon here. As you can see, I just scrubbed off the glass on the outside and inside. Sorry, Jones. Everyone's looking good. Don't get closed up again. Of course, I, I swear it's, it's open and then it just closes right back up again. Um, sorry about my voice, it's gonna be a little bit, um, stuffy, so excuse that, but, um, let's get into it. So, down here below the tank, <clears throat> we'll be using <clears throat> what I use for the tank. So, over here we got, first thing first is you got the refoids. Just the first thing, we just put that over here. So, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a little, like, medicine or measuring cup or something like that i don't know what you really call those things just a little one fourth teaspoon refroids and i use this little um piston thingy i forgot what they're called but you, you just suck it up and just put it in the tank so that's what we'll use we'll use that and last but not least, you can use the tank water. Or don't worry guys, don't freak out. This is not spring fed, this is our water just in a different bottle. So we can use that, this, and that. So yeah, we got our items and I'll show you guys what I used to feed them in our reef tank. What is up guys, so we're here back here. And we're gonna be showing how I mix up my refroids. So you're gonna need your refroids, got it right there. Your little piston or like pipette. I mean, this is a pipette. Sorry, got the name back. Your little medicine cup thingy, and then your one fourth tablespoon and your RO water or tank water. So first thing you're gonna want to do depends on your tank size. I have a 25, and I don't I don't have so many corals, and I only have 10 corals right now. So I don't need to use that much, but I have big ones. So I would say sometimes it's really one fourth, like a full one fourth per 25. Like I would say that's enough. I don't know if you can see that for my tank. Let's look. So all you gotta do is just get some of this water right here. See it? Get some of this bad boy. Turn this up. Try not to make a mess. Uh, fill it up to about the 10 millimeter mark right there and once you got that I don't know if you guys see all this but I hope you do once you got that what you want to do is you want to stir it up just like this with your pipette Get a good 10 seconds get it all stirred up and voila you got yourself some refoid water and now you see that, I'll show you how I dispersed it in my tank. So, yeah, see you there. So, guys, we're at my lagoon. Got my pipette and my refoids. So, we'll start feeding the corals. Shake it up again. Get it nice. See that? Alright, so now let's... Oh, another thing to mention. You see how there's no flow in the tank? I turned the Waymaker off. Or, not off, on feed mode. So, now there's no... That way, when I feed the corals, it doesn't suck all the food away. So what you gotta do is just go, just like that, and the corals will close up. Don't worry, they're fine. They're just digesting the food. Sometimes it takes more than once. Some my tang loves this stuff for some reason. Make sure you get that torch nice and good. Just like that. Mostly everything with feeding tentacles, like this guy right here. This canyon tree. 
penetrate. I don't want to feed the green star because mine has a reaction when I feed it. This stuff for some reason. I heard that some have it, some don't. Yeah, see the kidney tree is closing up. You got that one. You can feed, you can feed out. The SPS won't hurt it, but it doesn't really eat it because it doesn't really have the feeding tentacles. Now the zoas do. Look at that. See how they're closing up? Oh my goodness, that guy closes up a lot. Get this guy over here. He's been going back. And then we'll do more food. And yes, I'm putting my hands in the tank. It's okay. I'm not. For some reason, my dungeon closed up. Got to feed the Fabia. It's okay. It's going to disperse in the tank. It's just a little bit of reef It's not going to hurt anything. See, like I said, you're going to get water in the floor. I live in my mom's house. Dad, so I'm gonna have to clean it up. Get the Xenia. Well, there you go, draws it out, like I said. So, don't start stealing food from the toy, buddy. Get every last bit. It's mostly for all the LPS corals, because that's the only eat it that much. They eat pellets, or like other, they mostly take it in through their skeleton. Cause they're really hard they have a skeleton in them so that's how they take it in so yeah most of the food's gone there you go so as you guys saw so thank you for watching my video now you guys know how to feed your corals when you guys want to feed your corals i fed my coral free for it so now you guys know how to do it for you and I hope you guys like this video. Please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 s subscribers. And if you guys do, that helps a lot. And I'll be doing a build thread in the future. After I get around near a thousand. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And yeah. Touch of grief keeping out.